question because tsunamis are very often associated with earthquakes, but they do not need to be associated with earthquakes because a tsunami forms any time the seafloor suddenly changes depth. So it can be caused by an earthquake, but it can also be caused by, for example, a landslide underwater, by uh, a volcanic eruption that causes uh, the, the ground to slide, or uh, anything else that causes a, a sudden change of, of the ground. So, for example, there have been cases where there were landslides in the Canary Islands that caused tsunamis on the east coast of mm. the United States. So there are many places that are vulnerable around the U.S. to tsunamis. Right. Can you anticipate a, a tsunami? And if so, do something for those who are in its way? Yes, um, we do a lot of scenario planning in the U.S. Geological Survey in which we uh, try to understand what sort of situations might lead to a tsunami and then we can do modeling that would determine what uh, would be the potential for run-up, which mm. depends on what the shape of the coastline is and uh, how steeply the coastline uh, rises. And uh, that, of course, is, right. um, you know, dependent on what the, the coast looks like. Uh, very briefly, then, what would the modelling have looked like for this coastline? Was enough done um, or was this completely out of the blue? Um, I, I can't say uh, specifically for Japan, but uh, I do know that uh, the geologic record shows that back in 800 A.D., there was an earthquake very much like this one, and the geologic record shows that uh, a very similar scenario had played out in this location. Uh, but 800 A.D. is a very long time ago, and of course, um, there would be uh, very little uh, human record uh, to show for that. And Marcia, with that, we're going to leave it there. We thank you very much indeed for joining us, your expert on the subject.